Yeah, this one didn't do it for me. Chase, we hockey here at the Blue Food from reviewing Desara. So what's this movie about? Pretty simple premise. You have two really good friends. Of course, you have a love triangle. You have a town that basically morphed around a coal mine and all they have is alcohol to get through their days. And now there's a political storyline in the back. And then, like I said, a love triangle that's almost like an octagon. Then you have people dying and then you just have shenanigans and just shit ensues that all of a sudden it's like, oh, that's happening. But the, oh, that is happy moments barely occur in this movie. So, what do I like about this movie? When the oh, snap moments were happening, I was having a blast. That was maybe the last 15 minutes. And something that happens about the hour and 20 minute mark in this film. This part where they're actually getting chased by these people in sacks on their heads. No, not the KKK. I promise you that. But this is something that when the violence does occur... I found it very interesting. After looking at the violence, though, I was bored out of my mind with this movie. I'm sorry. It took over an hour to get going. I understand what they're trying to go with the political aspect. I understand they're going with the friendship, the love triangle, and everything is occurring in the background. But it just takes forever to get to that point in time. And when it finally gets to that point, you realize... One character is kind of a bitch. I hate to say that. His whole thing is he won't do anything unless he has alcohol in his system. Yes, I understand the whole plot point. But the whole time this thing is happening. And something that happens to his friend on the bike. And trying to run away from the bike with those people running was very, very not good looking whatsoever. But it was just like, dude grow a pair and that was very frustrating to me it was a guy that was paralyzed for the first like hour and 30 minutes of this movie it finally took him some cojones to actually do something the last 45 minutes of the movie because he realized i need to save this girl from a person that's doing really bad stuff overall and when we get to the final conclusion yeah there was some good violence but the overall just shock value it was there but it was so diminished because out of this 2 hour and 30 minute movie, maybe maybe 25 to 20 minutes of it was actually action. The rest was sopping, drinking, love triangle, dancing, singing. And I understand what you're trying to do with those aspects. But my goodness, it dragged way too long. Overall... Desara has been one of the more disappointing movies that came out of India in 2023. I was bored. Yes, when the oh shit sickle moments were happening, I was having a blast. But when 15% of the movie is doing that, and the rest is just people drinking and then storytelling and then love octagons, you have to do more to keep me entertained. So Desara will receive. A 2 out of 5 of food taunts, which equals at 40%. Let's see the critics and user scores gave this one. So you have the critics at 80% with 5 of them. Audience score 71% with fewer than 50. No critic consensus. I'm actually shocked it is that high for the 80 and 71. Like I said, maybe the other movies, I just have more entertainment factors. But just the whole background, the coal mine should have been more prevalent. The alcohol bar, yeah, it had an interesting storyline, but it wasn't prevalent. And the one guy that they were getting to help from the political side, it just felt like there was so much disconnect with the characters. Like, so no one connected the dots about what this one guy was doing, like at all, whatsoever. Come on. 80, 70, 140. Chase Hawk with the Boo Food Town. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know things, Boo Town Topia. You Boo Town, think about a great day. Now I can watch this tape tomorrow, week, tomorrow, month, tomorrow, year from now. I love every single one of you. Am I completely wrong with this Indian review? I don't see me ever even trying this movie ever again.